Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. With Jaime Munguia's barber. That's him? Yeah, bro. He's tall. Really tall, bro. So, you, you said you would favor him to beat Saddam Ali, who's the yeah, champion? Yeah, bro. Yeah, he has a lot of speed, bro. It's a lot of speed, and uh, I don't know, his footwork, everything, bro. He's really strong. He's really strong. He has a lot of knockout power, you know? Oh, wow. Yeah. He's from Tijuana, too, huh? Yeah, Tijuana, yeah. And how'd you hook up with him and start cutting hair? Uh, uh, we we just uh, started talking over, like, Twitter and stuff. And, okay. you know, since um, I'm a barber in uh, downtown LA, so... So yeah, kind of just worked yeah, out. Yeah, things just worked out. He's a really humble guy, bro. He's uh, really friendly and everything. So yeah, they were trying to give really him cool. a triple G fight at one point, but it didn't work out. So now he's getting a title shot in his division. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's. You want to plug your barber shop? Where uh, Where can fans go for a cut? Uh, uh, the name is Plug the Lake Cuts. Okay. We, you guys could follow me on Instagram at uh, Plug underscore LA underscore and then Cuts. All right. Look forward to it. Thank yeah, you. Bro. Keep up the work. Late replacement Jaime Munguia upset Saddam Ali to become a WBO champion at junior middleweight. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego in the back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now boxing expect the unexpected it is truly the theater of the unknown after saddam ali beat legend miguel Cotto, he takes on he was supposed to fight liam smith who fought canelo and, and got stopped by canelo but liam smith pulled out with injury or he actually had the flu i think and he was unable to train for some odd weeks so he was forced to pull out from this um champion versus mandatory type affair at 154 they bring in late replacement Jaime Munguia some of you guys may remember the name because when Golovkin was looking for a replacement to uh, Canelo who failed a drug test two drug tests they were thinking about trying to save the date in um, Las Vegas Cinco de Mayo weekend by putting in a guy from Mexico from Tijuana I believe Jaime Munguia so his name came from out of nowhere and then Liam Smith pulled out the fight and then he got this fight and now he's the champion so Boxing is weird like that. Uh, respects to Saddam Ali for, you know what I mean, showing heart and being down to fight any and everybody. But it was, it looked like this was, it was an uphill battle. He got dropped twice in the first round, if I'm not mistaken. A hard hook. You see an immediate size differential, and you got to be on your your p's and q's when you guys when you guys are facing people who are that much taller, just bigger, bigger framed. And some people have it down to a science where their walk around weight might be gigantic and then they can cut down a lot of weight to meet you at your weight class. And they're still youthful enough where they can um, maintain their strength and stuff without being all the way depleted. A lot of advancements in sports medicine and sports science. Now, the clip I played at the beginning, just to, to give you guys the, um, the preamble, when I was in LA for the Golovkin fight, the fight week, it was just after the weigh-in, I ran into some guy and he's like, oh, hey, Boxing Ego. And I said, what's up? And then he's like, started telling me that he went to the weigh-in and he started telling me that he was Jaime Munguia's barber. And then that's where we, I said, oh, for real? And I just started recording from that point because I already had my camera stuff out from the weigh-in. And you've seen the pictures and I'm like, damn, he's tall. He looked kind of big. You know what I mean? You hear my voice and you hear him. He's like, yeah, yeah. And he predicted it. He predicted that Jaime Munguia was going to beat Saddam Ali. So I just had to play that clip because I didn't get a chance to run it on the channel. But I had to give the man his credit. Jaime Munguia is barber. If you ever see this, you were right. He stopped Saddam Ali in the fourth round. Um, Saddam Ali did better in the second round. But then he got dropped again for a third time in the, the last stanza, like the last 10, 15 seconds. And then the fourth round. He got um, clipped again and dropped for a fourth time. So that's it. We have a new champion at WBO champion at 154. 
I, I'm I'm anxious. This division keeps shifting. You had Edislandi Lada who has several title fences. He l- losing to Jared Swift Hurd controversially. They might order a rematch for that. You have Jamel Charlo fighting a guy who had a tough fight with his brother, Austin Trout. You had Saddam Ali beat Kodo and then he loses to uh, Jaime Mungia. So, you know what I mean? There's a lot of ways you can mix and match these guys at 54 to see the who's who. And, you know, I don't mind. Jaime Mungia is big for the division. Jared Hurd's big for the division. That could be a killer fight. Jermail Charlo. I mean, we got to see more from this Jaime dude. But, I mean, it's open season. He's a champ now. Maybe they do Jaime Mungia, Liam Smith. I don't know. Liam Smith has some pretty good size to him. But um, impressive stuff. He was throwing hooks, and he looked very big for the division, which is something I've seen from his barber. And... um, We'll see. I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know too much about him other than this one fight. So it's kind of hard for me to to judge exactly what he's about. But it was always weird to me because um, I do get that in respect. Saddam Ali upset Kodo. But Kodo was a guy who was inactive on his way out, kind of. And not to make any excuses, but at the end of the day, because Saddam Ali is a friend of the channel and stuff. But at the end of the day, Kodo is not that big he wasn't a big middleweight that's why he didn't fight Golovkin and shit like that he's not a big middleweight and he's not even that big of a junior middleweight unless he's fighting like maybe like a Floyd Mayweather then someone who's even smaller than him maybe not in height but uh bone structure and stuff like that so he beat Kodo and then I didn't know if he's gonna go back to welterweight or stay at 54 it just looked like Saddam Ali was much smaller than the Jamel Charlos the Jared Swift Herds and now this Jaime Munguia character you know what I'm saying so it was kind of an uphill battle and the other thing is he got stopped by Jesse Vargas at 47 so I didn't know how that would play out once he started fighting guys who are naturally bigger than him naturally taller very good fighters like lines only jermail charlo etc i think the safest bet um he should have fought maybe liam smith or kel brook you know what i mean and then maybe decide if he wants to go back down to 47 but it's another stoppage loss for him um so he's probably gonna take some time off let me know what you guys think of this fight and the changing of the guard shout out to jaime mungia Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.